Uh, I think Gen G, like I really want to play them actually. From these two teams, I prefer to play Gen G because I am oh. really high playing against Canyon. I never yeah. played against him in official. I only did like one or a few times in the scrims and he was really impressive. So I really want to play against him and test my skills against him. And yeah, overall, I think it's like really, really insane team. Hey guys, this is Ashley Kang of Horizon Esports. This interview has been brought to you by Republic of Gaming, powered by Jeffrey's G14. And I am joined by Rizalk, the jungler of Nautic, after they do defeat Game Esports on a 2 0 match goal and qualify to the bracket stage of 2024 MSI. Hey, how are you feeling? Hello. Are you, hello. Are you feeling happy, relieved? How are you doing right now? Uh, I'm happy that we won. I mean, I was expecting to win. Mm -hmm. because we already did uh before i think this time it was a little bit harder in my opinion i think mm -hmm. we didn't play that good and i think gam adapted better than the other series mm -hmm. but overall pretty happy that we qualified to the bracket group i mean i'll give you my honest opinion on it game one looked really solid and game two Fnatic also had a lead but it did go a bit back and forth um can you give me your overall thoughts <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to, I have to agree with you. I feel yeah. like the second game we trolled a lot more, and yeah. I think, yeah, I feel like we don't have too much experience playing against that Nocturne Oriana combo, and we got punished many times by it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and the Nasser was really stressful that too. So yeah, I was kind of curious on the side. You know how like Oscarin is still relatively rookie, and in this lane swap meta, he's often sent to the bot lane by himself. Or like, you know, staying at the top lane, dealing with both the support and <laughs> and the AD yeah, carry. How is he? I think we were we were the ones actually practicing the lanes of the earliest. I feel like oh. when the LPL played it the first time, yeah, yeah, G2 yeah. was the second one who started yeah. like using it a lot. Oh. And we screamed a lot G2 in EU that week because mm -hmm. they were already qualified for the finals. Mm -hmm. So we actually got a lot of practice for the lane swap and all oh. these level one strats. So mm -hmm. I think that's why he has a lot of experience and he knows what to do right now. A lot of people were suspecting that G2 were the first teams to adopt the lane swaps and start practicing with it on scrims. I guess that's true, right? Yeah, I mean, G2, G2 practiced it the first and they in the final in EU, in LSE, they, they did it every game, right? Like four games, we even knew they were going to lane swap. And I think if I'm not wrong, the, the first one doing it was DLPL. Other than that, uh, what are your thoughts on the meta for the jungler perspective specifically? We've seen some tank champion, we've seen some carry champions, everyone's praising your Viego and so on. Uh, I mean, I think there are quite a few champions that you can play. Like it's not all the time the same. I feel like there are some champions that they are really, really strong in my opinion, but I feel like you can play everything. I mean, you can you can see that the people are playing this Yuani, Maokai still. Other other junglers are going with the Viego, Shin Thao, even Lee Sin. So yeah, you can adapt and see what's the best for your team. Okay. Uh what is the one thing that you believe Fnatic can fix or improve upon before because I guess your guys are playing your next match only in two days or three days. It's a very short time. What are the, some of the things that Fnatic would work on? Uh, I feel like we can adapt a lot better in draft. I feel like uh, mm. the game that we played against uh, Top Esports, the third one, was a bit hard to play from draft. So I feel like it's something that we can improve and mm. make our lives easier, even mm. though we are facing really hard opponents. I feel mm. like we shouldn't have a losing draft from, from the beginning. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really hard to win. Are you saying that because you got Sejuani? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing bot. Okay, okay. I'm just like kinda of joking. Okay, um we are yet to see the results of the group draw, but you'll be facing either Gen G or BLG. What are your thoughts on those two teams? I think probably um, if not the best two teams in the world, one of the best. And probably, uh, yeah. I, yeah, they are like a really strong team, but I don't feel like whenever I face uh a team that's in on paper better than us. I don't feel scared. I don't yeah. like to play scared. Yeah. And I tell my players to not not play like this afraid because then there is no way we will win. Yeah. So I mean I really don't mind who we play against and I really like to go like with the underdog like team. Mm. So I th I'm pretty happy to see what we can do against these both big teams. I think it's a fair statement to say that those are the two best teams in the world, given that, you know, 
they are like the first seeds in LPL and LCK respectively. Let's go through the two teams one by one. What are your thoughts on Genji? Uh, I think Genji, like I really want to play them actually from these two teams. I prefer to play Genji because I am really um, high playing against Canyon. I never yeah. played against him in official. Yeah. I only did like one or a few times in the scrims and he was really impressive. So um, I really want to play against him and test my skills against him. Okay. And yeah, overall, I think it's like really, really insane team. How about, you know, BLG? Because I know it's no Canyon, but Soon's a pretty impressive and aggressive jungler. He's Sinja. Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I actually like see myself more towards the Shun side, like mm -hmm. how he plays than yeah. Canyon, because I feel like Canyon is more like um, smart and he really likes to like create things slowly and always be safe. But I think Shun is like more aggressive and he's like really clean mechanically. So I I identify myself more with Yoon as a player, but I really want to face Canyon more. So uh, I don't know. Is there any other team or jungler or players in general that you want to face throughout the bracket stage? Because you get to face so many different teams. You do have a lower bracket after all. Uh, I mean, yeah, the one again, I feel like I have 50% win rate against the one in official. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, from Wars, and uh, yeah, we did uh, Jersey Swap today with owner. Yeah. So I would like to face them again, yeah. Did you actually know that in Korea, there is a meme about you and Humanoid that whenever you guys either play really well, or perhaps a bit questionably, they compare you to Faker and owner. The uh, my, my golden duo. told me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my golden told me something about it, but I don't know why, like... Uh, our owner and faker like trolling tons sometimes and they call them uh, humanity and rest or i don't understand the meme you know when like Fnatic is not doing so well they say oh look at them like a faker and owner as like a uh -huh. joke but when you guys are really uh -huh. doing well they say oh they are really faker and owner you know what i mean <laughs> okay okay i see i see so yeah. they are just memeing around oh but they also do that when do you guys play really well okay, okay. yeah <laughs> what i do mean you I, I don't mind i think it's funny do you actually, um, do you have any particular goals that you want to achieve for yourself or Fnatic for the rest of 2024 MSI? Uh, I mean, I don't have like a personal goal. I could say like, yeah, we want to win it. But I feel like right now I just want to play good and I want my team to play good and improve mm -hmm. and see how far we can go. If we actually deserve to win and we have the level to win, then we will win, right? Mm -hmm. But I mean, the goals will be just improve and make sure that we can do the best and we don't choke or people are not playing afraid mm. if we lose giving a good battle to the best teams in the world i will be like not satisfied but happy and proud about our, our performance but you are confident that you are going to beat team liquid uh yeah <laughs> um my final question is yeah do you have any message to the european fans to the fanatic fans to the result fans Perhaps the T1 fans back at home also cheering for their second team Fnatic. Uh, I always say the same to my fans and the Fnatic fans. This is like they flame us a lot, but they also support us a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's something that uh, it's good and bad at the same time because you can actually see that you are really passionate about the team, about the team, and you want us to do good. But mm -hmm. we are the first ones that we are like giving our all, and we are really triggered by ourselves when we we do bad. And mm. really proud when we do good. So I mean, mm. just keep supporting us. If you believe in us, we will do our best. And yeah, and to the other fans, because I actually I got told that we have a lot of fans in Korea. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but uh, yeah, I know some words in Korea, but I forgot right now. Actually, I don't, I don't know the words in Korea. Yeah, that one I know. <laughs> but my, my Koreans teach me some like bad words, so I don't want to oh. say. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't want to say here. <laughs> we'll let our imagination do the job. How do you say I love you in Korean? 사랑해요. 사랑해요. Oh, 사랑해요. 아, 사랑해요. 사랑해요 you, to all Korean You have to do this. Hearts. You have to do this. It's a Korean okay. heart. Yay! 사랑해요. 사랑해요. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Rizal. Okay, and best of luck. And Thank I'll keep you. seeing you for the rest of the tournament. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.